Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we're going to show you how to replace the Dualtron brake calipers. This process applies both to the front and rear calipers, but for this example, we'll be changing the rear since it includes a couple more steps. For these tasks, you'll need a 2.5, 4, and 5mm hex key, 8 and 10mm wrench, cutters, and pliers. Start by unraveling the left side braid at both the bottom and top of the stem. Cut away any zip ties holding the wires together. Next, open up the deck using a 4mm hex key on all 10 screws. Note that the two screws in the front and four in the back are longer than the others. Disconnect the tail light wire so you can remove the tail, deck cover, and gasket. Identify your brake line and remove the foam holding it down. Remove the neck cover by unscrewing the two screws with your 4mm hex key. Then remove the LED panel underneath using a 2.5mm hex key. Loosen the nut on the lever and disconnect the brake line. Snip the line as close to the end as possible. Be sure to save the nut and dust cover. Then pull the line down and out of the stem. Route it nicely through the deck and push it out the rubber grommet at the back. With the brake line free, you can now remove the caliper. Unscrew the two screws of the 5mm hex key and keep track of the washers used for each of them. Take your new caliper and mount it on the rotor. Make sure you have the washers in their proper orientation and screw it in with your 5mm hex key. It doesn't need to be fully tight as we'll line it up with the rotor later. Then insert the brake line through the rubber grommet. Try to replicate its path through the deck and net cover as you route it. Slide the line under the other cables and push it up the stem until you see it peek through the top. In order to get the brake line out of the stem, take off the handlebar mount by unscrewing it with a 5mm hex key and holding the other side in place with a 10mm wrench. Slide the handlebar mount up and pull the brake line out of the stem. Then screw the mount back into place. Next, take off the banjo cover by unscrewing it. Slide the dust cover on, followed by the nut, and then the olive. Push the olive in the lever and hand screw on the nut. Then finish tightening it with your 8mm wrench and place the dust cover on it. To reinstall the LED panel, make sure the cables are tucked neatly and packed all the way in before lining up the holes and screwing in with a 2.5mm hex key. Take the nut cover and feed all the cables into the slot at the top, and make sure they're packed into the grooves at the bottom. Then line the nut cover up with the holes and screw it in with a 4mm hex key. Now on the deck, place the foam evenly over the cable so nothing gets pinched. Take the deck cover and feed the tail light connector through its respective hole. Line up the rubber gasket. Line up the deck with the holes and screw it in place with a 4mm hex key. Next, realign your caliper so it's not making a rubbing noise with the rotor. Once aligned, go ahead and pull the brake lever. If it grabs like it does here, then you should already have enough brake fluid. If not, then you'll need to do a brake bleed, where you can follow our steps in our tutorial right here. Test the brake to make sure it works. Rebraid the cables. Finally, power on the scooter and test to make sure everything works properly. And that's it. Your new caliper is now ready to stop on a dime. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our customer support team at voramotors.com. Have any tutorials you'd like to see? Make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Until then, safe riding.